So for the Astralaria, you need to uh, get Zen's prize student achievement. Um, all you have to do is buy books. I am down to my last two books now. Um, from the Zin's print o -Matic. This thing is located in Rada Novus in Tangled Depths. To start it though, you need to pick up this Zin's study guide book right here off the ground. And then you can just uh, print out as many books as you want, but you can only get one book a day. Um, so you have to leave a tune here and you have to have at least 300 leyline crystals to get all the books. Or else you can just come back here every day, but I've just left it, one of my characters here, uh, my Necro, and uh, she just stands here and each day buys me a book. And I'm down to the last two, and then I'll be good to go. But it's 300 Leyline Crystals total to buy all of the books. And it's 12 days total to buy all the books. So in Rada Novus, uh, you have to do the events, all of the events up in here. And then you uh, basically escort the girl after she's uh, gotten the two robots all charged and happy. The robots end up leaving, leading her up in here. Um, you got to feed the charged ley line energy to the robots to power them up and during the escort to keep the shield up so she doesn't take damage. All right, so here's my last book. I did Boom, Sin's Prize student. And I deserve it too. Yeah, yeah. All right, so holographic Zen, add to account. Ta-da! There it is, Astralaria. Woot! So for the Astralaria, the time-worn uh, Forgotten Fragment, if you just go to the Forgotten City Waypoint in Tarir in the Orc Basin and go north um, and come to about where I'm standing right here, um, you'll notice there's some stairs with like stained glass windows on them. And if you go up those, that's how you get to where you want to go, which is the adventure. So coming in here, it's the uh, Fallen Masks adventure, so you just talk to this dude and he lets you in. So basically you come down here and you come to where the actual Fallen Masks adventure is. And you start it right here, and it's super easy to get bronze. Um, I even have silver. It's a little harder to get gold because it's based on luck, but bronze is all you need, so it's actually very easy to get this part of the Astralaria. So here I am in Tarir in Orc Basin, Forgotten City Waypoint, and the way down into where all the chests are after you do the meta event to get all your, your treasure is right down here, and you just need to have some exalted keys to open the treasure chest with. So as long as you've got your exalted keys, you're good to jump down and get your treasure. So underneath Tarir in Orc Basin are all these treasure chests, and you just open them up for your Australaria. So here I am in Divinity's Reach. I just walked out the portal, and I am going to come up here for the Australaria. You need to ponder this world map on the floor here. So this world map, you just actually hit slash like ponder that. to ponder it and get your um, credit. <laughs> so here I am in Metrica Province, Metrica Province, and uh, at the Quadal Waypoint, if you just come south down to where this hero point is, um, that's the airport right there, uh, this door right here is open or closed based on an event. Um, so once the event's, you know, completely over, then you uh, find the door locked. But if you come inside of here, this is Old Ula's lab. So anyway, old Ula, do the best you can, but here's where you actually get it, is from the little treasure chest, so when the events all get all the way through, you don't even have to actually do the events if you really, really don't want to, but right now here's the treasure chest, and this is what you are wanting. The uh, Miss Knowledge Crystal you find in the cliffside fractal chest, uh, fractals being the entrance right here south of Fort Mariner Waypoint. And the cliffside fractal was pretty straightforward. You just use the hammer to smash things. Uh, the seals basically just get a group and go to cliffside fractal. 
So the lowest one you can do is this uh, 7 cliffside fractal. You do not need any agony resistance, and quite frankly, you don't have to go to any special spot. Just beat it. It's just, as soon as it's over, you get it from the chest. I am in Wayfair Foothills, and uh, right over here by Twin Spur Haven Waypoint is a heart for Albin Chronicle. You just gotta do his heart by trading around with these guys, and then uh, once his heart is full, you can buy Pouch of Jodian Runestones for 1,848 karma. Yay! So here I am in Snowden, and I'm kind of, uh, Hunter's Pits Falls up here, Snowhawk Landing's right here, but King Jealous Refuge is right in here for the Astralaria. It's a jumping puzzle. Um, it's also a little bit of an area that you go in anyway, but it's this cave right here. The entrance is directly north of Dragon Tilt. So here I am opening a chest to chest and sweet, Astralaria. Sweet. So just jump through Jalice's Refuge and get yourself your item. So here I am in Lorner's Pass and I am at the German Priory. German Priory uh, Waypoint is right here. Um, you can just walk through from the Cavern Waypoint in Lion's Arch right through here if you don't want to teleport. But uh, basically, if you walk in all the way to where the hero point is, and you turn left, there's the entrance into the German Priory itself. And you want to go in here. So for the Astralaria, the reason that we're coming here last is because you're going to discover and read Rising Stars, the ancient Jodin astronomy book, and then you're going to talk to Ogden in the German Priory about your findings. You might as well do them at the same time. So here's Rising Stars right here on the shelf. Um, it's in this little room filled with tons and tons of books when you first get in here. Anyway, we're going to read it and take notes. Yay! And now we can talk to Ogden. Woo! And then uh, after you pick up your book, if you open up Gix's uh, office, Ogden's in there next to Gix. And you just talk to him and you say, I'm working on crafting the Astralaria. And I have notes I'd like you to look over. Thank you, and look at that. Completed, and we've got our box for the device. All right, so I've come to the weaponsmithing station, and uh, here's my device recipe. And then I have an essence of ancient knowledge. So let's go ahead and come down to legendary crafting components. It should be down under inscriptions. There it is. And the device. Dun dun dun. Here it is. Experimental axe blade. It takes 15 Delgemore steel ingots, so I need some more of those. But I have definitely got my these. And then uh, I need more spirit wood planks as well for the haft. And then I will probably need more memories of battle. I haven't been world versus worlding as much lately as I should. Alright, so I got my stuff to make my experimental axe blade. Gonna craft one. My experimental axe haft. Craft one. And then the legendary inscription. I will need more Elonian leather. And I will need to craft an oracle plate plated dowel. Otherwise, I'm good to go. Alright, I made my dowel, so I'm crafting this. And now I will be able to make the device. So happy! Astralaria Volume 2 is right around the corner. Unlocked. And now that I have unlocked it, I can get Astralaria Volume 2. And there it is. I have unlocked it and I am ready to go.